what I understand, you're playing the number two team in the in the country. Right. How do you feel about that draw right off the bat? Well, we know it's going to be tough. It, it's something that uh, my assistant, uh, Coach Zambonini, and myself, it's something that we had been uh, talking about for about the last four, five, six days. We had a feeling it's going to end up like that. And uh, our feeling is right now is uh, you got to beat the best somewhere along the line anyway to get, to, if, you, if your goal is to make the College World Series like it is for us, you're going to have to beat the best somewhere along the line. So, And it's a uh, it's the regional, so there are going to be other teams as well. I understand that, that there's they're not, you know, the only one there that's pretty formidable. Tell me about the rest of the. the right. Uh, you have uh, Emporia State's going to be there, and I think they're ranked in the top 15, top 20 also in the nation. Angelo State's been in the, ranked in the top five most of the year. I think they're 13 or 14 in the nation now. Now, the one thing that's nice is the fact that we've seen all the teams. We've played Angelo State three times. We've played Emporia State twice, and we've played Midwestern State twice. So we, we have some scorebooks on them, and we've, we've played all three of them, and, and we don't feel intimidated by any of them. Midwestern State, when did you play them last? Played them at the Texas A&M Kingsville tournament way back the second week of February. So it, it's been a while, but I'll tell you, we're, we're a totally different team. Now, when we played them, we played one real tough game against them, two-thirds of another game real tough before things got out of hand, but, uh, but we held our own against them. And Coach, since this is the first year you guys have made it out to the regionals and are facing a very difficult opponent, how do you maintain the kind of the fire, the drive, that the girls don't get lax and say, well, we've made it here, this is what we'll call well, it a, a day. Yeah, and I agree, but you know, we've, uh, we've talked about that. Uh, we started talking about that last week. As a matter of fact, we started talking about it when we got off the bus from uh, St. Mary's a week and a half ago. Is uh, you know, I told them I had a couple of uh, TAMU fans come up to me after we beat St. Mary's and said, hey coach, anything from this point on is a gift. And I told them, no, no, it, this is all doable. Let's not just say that we're happy to be here. Let's, let's go there and let's make some noise. So we've been talking about that. I've already seen a change in their attitude today than I did last week, now that we know who we're playing. I could just, it looked like a sense of relief. It's just this idea, okay, now we know where we're going, when we're going, and who we're playing, and who else is going to be there.